video so this video is going to be all about what we had for dinner last week it's basically four recipes because it's from monday to thursday and friday we ate out because we deserve to do that once a week and let's get started with the video so we recently came across this electric pressure cooker called geek robo cook and we have been loving it i will put the link in the description for those who may be interested there are multiple ways that you can use it in your daily recipes it's quick simple and no mess solution to cooking one pot meals and hope you like it let's begin with the video and it's monday and i was not in a mood to cook and decided to make this simple rajma masala I have soaked the rajma overnight. Now I'm preparing the usual ingredients like onions, garlic, ginger, tomatoes, green chilies, etc. and then i will blend the onions garlic ginger and green chilies to a fine paste let's prepare the pot for cooking i will set the pot to saute mode which gives me 30 minutes of time to uh, saute I will pour the paste I just made and cook it for some time and then add the tomatoes and the masalas. Go. At this point when I feel my masala is well cooked and ready I will add the uncooked rajma then I will fry it for some time before I add water as per my need I like my rajma runny so I will add around 3 cups of water Time to close the pot. Here I'll make sure the pressure valve is closed or else the pressure won't build and it won't cook. I will choose the preset mode to dal or chana and set the taste to strong which means it will cook for an hour. And that's all. You can relax while it cooks. Today is Tuesday and I will be making aloo soya chunk curry. This is one of our favorites at home. I will soak the soya chunk in hot water and salt for 15 minutes to soften it.
Now I will peel and cut the potatoes. I won't use any onion, garlic or ginger in this recipe. Only tomatoes, green chilies and some spring onions. I will set the pot to saute mode. First I'll fry the soya chunks a little in oil. Once it turns golden brown, I'll remove it and add some more oil. Go. And then I will add some uh, kalonji, uh, uh, some cloves, little hing and two bay leaves. Then I will add the potatoes and fry it till it's nice golden brown before I add the masalas. At this point, I'll also add the soya chunks and fry it till the masalas are well cooked. I will choose the preset sambar or gravy and set the taste to strong which means it will cook for 15 minutes. Once it's done and the pressure is released, I will add the coriander and spring onions. Oh yeah, and also the green chilies because I add it at last so that it doesn't get spicy and Kaya can eat it too. Today is Wednesday and I will be making a super easy chicken soup. This is our favorite dinner for the winters and everybody loves it including Kaya. So now I will be preparing the veggies I will use here. I will wash clean and uh, chop the spinach. Now I will set the mode to saute and saute the chicken in some oil till it browns on both sides. Then 
then I'll add the onions and I'm sorry I forgot to tell you about the garlic I have also added few cloves of garlic After a while I'll add all the veggies and once it's fried a uh, little uh, I will add the chicken with a chicken stock cube Wow I'm using the maggi uh, stock cube here you can use any you have in hand and then I will add the water I will choose the preset non veg and select chicken and set the taste to medium which means it will cook for 20 minutes After the pressure is released I will add the chopped spinach and also at this point I'll take out the chicken pieces and take it off the bones and shred it using a fork So today is Thursday and I will be making mutton stew for dinner. It's delicious and just the perfect recipe for the winter nights. I will also use baby potatoes uh, I have boiled and peeled the potatoes Go Then I'll saute it for a while till it gets a golden color. Then I'll add the onions, ginger and garlic. After it's fried for a while, I'll add the mutton pieces and fry it before I add the masalas. I will also add half a tomato and a cup of green peas. Mm -hmm. 
Now I will choose the preset non veg meat and set the taste to strong, which means it will cook for an hour. That's all for this video. Hope you like it and thanks for watching. Bye.